What if you could know how much money you can make on a pair of tickets without actually having to buy them? Um, in this video, that's exactly what we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about the theoretical flip challenge. This is a simple little challenge that we've put together to help you kind of get a better understanding of how your tickets might perform and how you would do as a ticket broker without the risk of actually having to buy tickets. And it's actually gonna teach you a lot along the way about what it means to you know do event research, select specific tickets, go ahead and buy them, watch the secondary market where people are buying them and see how much money you actually would have ended up making had you bought these tickets. So this is an interesting little challenge. It's gonna give you a good idea of how much money you'll make and I'll go ahead and show you how it works. So here we have the ticket flipping practice sheet. Again, this worksheet is designed to help you make theoretical flips and track the performance and profits of the tickets to really help you learn and better understand how to you know, pick good seats and make money reselling tickets. So here I have an example event. I have a, a Netflix is a joke by Snoop Dogg. It's an event coming up on May 5th, which is you know about three weeks from now. Um, and the seats I've selected are you know uh, row 12, right center, seats 59 through 61. And then I actually went ahead and clicked to see what that cost would be for all three seats with the fees and everything. So you wanna make sure you're getting accurate pricing. And then again, have your reasons for buying. So my reasons were a high flare score. This is something that's available to you know ticket flipping members. We can see this had a score of 1,092 because it's Snoop Dogg in a small venue. Um, and then on top of that, you know you can you don't have to have flair to decide that. You can look at the seats and say, hey, this is a good center location. This is a price break, um, and I'll explain that in a second. Um, and then what you want to do is you want to compare that with comparable seats on StubHub. So we're going to go to the secondary market and actually see, you know, what does this exact event look like here? So I selected these seats, you know, right center, row 12, right here, $79. The ones a little further up are $195. Uh, the ones right here are 89, but I got these three seats when they were available yesterday. I guess somebody bought them, but $79. So you can see there's a price break because it drops from 195 down to you know a lot less at 89 or 79. So I selected these three seats, and then you have a much better idea of like you know uh, you know why did you select those? So it's a price break, and they're a good center location. And then what I do is go to StubHub, click the same exact section. As you can see, there are people selling these seats. I had row 12, these are row 15, row 13, and uh, there are $79 after fees closer to like 85. So a couple people are just selling their tickets, I guess they didn't wanna go, and then other people are selling for a lot more. So row 12 selling for 237 a piece or 169 a piece for row 10. Um, and these are very you know, comparable, uh, they're comp tickets. It's a, a term we use in the ticketing industry, compare, uh, comparable tickets. And you can use that to better understand your pricing and better understand how other brokers think that these seats will sell. Um, and this gives you kind of a good idea of like, hey, how much money could I potentially make? And in this example, let's, I said, hey, you know, these tickets are selling at $1.99 per ticket. And, you know, with Snoop Dogg performing, um, even with one less than one month away at a capacity of 1,058 for Snoop Dogg, it is still an easy flip. And then after you subtract, you know, uh, three times 199 minus the fees minus the initial cost comes to 215 profit. And what you can do is you can come in here and select another event, fill in all this information, look at the comparable seats and get an understanding for how much money you could make had you bought these tickets without any actual risk of you know buying the tickets. This is a great way to learn and to understand what it means to do some actual event research. So um, you know, for ticket flipping members, we can also actually check the actual sales. So I'll show you what that looks like here. Uh, I can come in and look at the exact sales. So it looks like for floor right two, uh, row seven, two seats sold for 279. So actually um, a really, really serious sale here for row seven. Uh, I'm surprised somebody paid that much money for it, but uh, it looks like someone really wanted those uh, row seven seats um, for this right center section. So, uh, you know, I could have maybe even put a higher price here, but just to be conservative and they haven't actually sold, this is just theoretical. Uh, that's how you kind of go about it. And then you kind of write the lessons you learned here. Hey, you know, how has it actually sold? Really the way you want to look at it is after the event and as you're tracking the market, like, hey, 
are seats being you know taken out of here can i tell that something is selling maybe write down everything that's available in your section and then see as it gets taken down like hey how much did those sell for because you have an idea of hey if it's removed it most likely sold um and that's kind of how it simply works again you don't want to give yourself you know front rows you know you can't target just you know i got section one row one on floors um those seats are going to be you know highly coveted there's going to be a lot of competition you know other brokers other fans so you know choose seats that you will actually be able to get when you're actually physically buying the tickets um if they are you know not available at all to you uh you probably wouldn't be able to get them otherwise either so select seats that are either currently available or not unbelievably difficult to get so if you go for a really popular event you can't just say hey i got you know row one and then they're they were 150 dollars, and i sold them for you know 500 dollars. i mean we could all do that the whole goal of this exercise is to be realistic and that's really going to help you better understand you know um how much money you could actually make by going through and understanding you know, understanding everything with the proper fees and then actually selecting reasonable tickets um so you have a better learning experience